Hey everyone, this is Polish Pete and this is Football Jig Gear. When I'm fishing a football jig, I think one of the biggest advantages you can have in your rod and reel setup is going to be length. Length is your friend when fishing a football jig because you can make a much further cast and you can stay off the structure that you're targeting with a football jig. To me, a football jig shines when it's being fished on hardcover or grass to rock transitions, things of that nature, far away from the boat, offshore structure of sorts. That's when a football jig is most effective is when it's being fished horizontally far away from the boat being dragged across the bottom. Hence the football head so that it goes through that type of cover. The longer the rod, the further cast you can make and the quicker you can pick up all your line on a hook set. For example, this one here is a seven and a half foot jig fishing rod. So this is a graphite rod with a really fast action. So that means the tip of this rod is gonna bend really fast up in the, uh, up in the top section, but it's gonna load into backbone really quickly. It's a fast action. So I can fish fluorocarbon line or braided line with this rod. And as soon as I load into a hook set, I'm, I'm moving this jig on the bottom really fast and getting hook penetration. That's a big key to fishing football jig for two reasons. One, I wanna be able to set the hook from far away. And two, I wanna be able to clear this bait of any uh, obstructions. If it gets any grass on it or it gets stuck on some sort of bottom cover and I want to pop it and make it move, I don't want my rod to bend and deflect the whole time. I want to be able to pop it off that cover and if I get bit, which is a lot of the times you get bit, to be able to have a fast rod with a lot of length to it so I can get a good hook in them. What I recommend doing is starting off with a high gear ratio reel and braid to a leader. Fluorocarbon is really where this technique shines, but if you're learning how to use a football jig, the braid will aid you in feeling what's going on at the bottom. It'll help you cast further, give you less issues as you're getting used to fishing a football jig on the bottom, and that fluorocarbon leader will get you more bites. So the fast gear ratio reel is also going to be a big factor in this because I can clean up any slack line. And a lot of times when you set the hook on a football jig fish when that rod's or that bait's far away from the boat, that long rod might clean up all that line, but that fish will make a hard run. And a lot of times they run straight up and they slack your line. So having a fast gear ratio reel to keep up with that fish as it's slacking your line and running towards the surface for that big jump. You want to make sure you've got, the, uh, you've caught up to that fish with a fast gear ratio reel and you've got that rod loaded up when they make that jump. So this is the gear I'd recommend. You can find rods that are any price point you're comfortable with and that's seven three to seven six or longer if you're even more comfortable. But 7.3 to, or longer, that medium heavy to heavy power, but the big key is gonna be that fast action to make sure that you can get a hook set from far away in those fish and get it fished through any sort of cover down on the bottom. Take care and go catch them.